Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So this is Regulon. Uh, I'm going to do today um, civil 3D alignments. Last time we saw a couple of uh, videos on alignments. We're going to bit further uh, into alignments. So first I got this uh, civil 3D open. So make sure that you have your civil 3D open. And if you don't have the exercise file, you can get it from the description box below. Um, so now let me load an exercise file. So I'm going to get the surface.adbg file. And remember, so whenever you're working with Civil 3D, whenever you do designs, you have contour styles. Whenever you're editing a surface, have triangle size, size style, so it's a bit easier for you. Uh, so now I have two meter interval contours. So now I'm going to start creating my alignment. Uh, so just refer to the basic videos on alignment, how to create an alignment. So let's get through uh, create um, alignment creation. So I'm going to bring the alignment creation dialog box. So I'm going to give it a name. So this is going to be uh, M1 road center line alignment. It's always it's always good to give a meaningful name. I can also say this is two kilometer to 12 kilometer range so that I know that this alignment belongs to which section of the road. Uh, so I can type in some descriptions as well. Type of alignment, different types of alignment. I'm going to choose center line. And then uh, the sides, I'm going to leave it as uh, none. And alignment style, uh, label style, I'm going to leave it as such. And uh, then the design criteria, I'm not going to go into that right now. So this lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to customize the alignment style. So that will be our primary focus on this one. So click on OK. So you get the flyout toolbar. So I'm going to click on the drop down. We got two options. One is a tangent, tangent, no curves. And another one is with curves. And uh, there is also curve and spiral settings. So I'm going to go into this one and uncheck spiral in and spiral out. And then I'm going to tangent tangent with curves. So click OK. And I'm going to start creating my alignment. So once the alignment is created, we don't need this uh, flyer toolbar anymore. So you can close it. And now you can zoom in and you can check your alignments. And now each entity of your alignment has got a different color. So the stripes are in blue by default in the current style which I've used. And there is a red color one for the curve. And if it's a spiral, it will have, a, I think, a green color or something. So it will have a different color. So now if you if you remember the previous lesson which I've said, uh, the alignment labels are different compared to all the labels that we have seen before. So the alignment labels comes in something called alignment label group. So that means Means it's not just one single label entity here it'll be multiple label entities that you can add it together to create a group so now uh, you can select your alignment which doesn't select your label because they both are two entities so now I select your alignment and then you get the ribbon on the top uh, where you can do more of alignment edits and you can right click here and you can get some more tools here so which is same as the one which is on the top where you can edit your alignment so now purely this lessons the focus is going to be editing the alignment style so that would be the focus here so we will have a next lesson which will we will go into uh, probably the label style or else this will get a bit more uh, bigger lesson so let's see how to edit your alignment style select your alignment and then you got two options here in the drop down which says alignment properties and another one is your alignment style so the alignment properties will actually take you to the alignments properties dialog box and where you can change your style and things like that would similar to what you have done with your surface and the edit alignment style will directly go into the alignment style that you have used right now into the edit panel so that you can directly start editing it but remember do not edit your default country kit or your template styles because if you lose it then you have to bring it from another template and things like that just waste of time so always make a copy of the current default ones and then make changes that you wanted on top of it so i'm going to go into the alignment properties it gives me the dialog box here and uh, so it has got quite a few tabs here so we will go that into another lesson and uh, for now we just focus on editing the style so the style that we have here is ANZ design. So there is a whole bunch of styles that we can change to. So as you can see that once I apply these styles, the styles takes into effect. And remember, sometimes whenever you apply the line weight, anything that you that in case of line weight that you're applying, if you don't see that on the screen, so if you don't see the thickness on the screen, so that's because there is a feature on the on the status bar where you can turn on and off the line weight. So if you go up here, if you don't find those tools up here in the bottom, you can go click on the hamburger icon and then there is an option that says line weight. So you click on it and then it brings a line weight tool in the bottom. So the line weight tool is this one which shows up here. So you can see it's in blue, it's turned on. So if you turn it off, even if you apply a style with a line weight, you will not see the line weight on the visual screen. 
you need to turn this on all right so now let's get back into properties so that's all the different styles that we have here so I'm gonna make a current copy uh, copy the current selection and then I'm gonna give this one is uh, expertizer alignment style okay so and then you can give your name if you want it and um, then we go for uh, different things that you can configure on your alignment style so first is your uh, grip editor behavior so this is like enable uh, radius snap so this is like the grip editor behavior there's all these grips up here so these grips you can give some um, some some default values in here so the next one is the markers so it comes with a whole bunch of markers on on the alignment so you can actually configure them with a particular style so right now if it's all you can see that all of them is actually set to none so that means even if those markers are on the screen you will not be able to see it so let's say point of intersection so if I put a marker in here so I go to this one and then I choose let's say this marker hit apply hit ok hit ok and then uh, let's check if we have any point of intersection so it looks like we don't have let's go and try some other options so this time I don't have to copy the current selection because I already made a new one so I'm gonna click on edit <coughs> so and then throw point uh, beginning of alignment so we know that where is this is gonna be so if we apply a marker we should be able to see it so I'm gonna say basic circle and then end of alignment I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna give it a different one and this one is gonna be uh, let's say circle with a cross and similarly there is a whole bunch of other things where you can configure um, the styles that you want for the markers and then click OK click OK and then if you go to the uh, starting and ending so that and then the ending so you can see the markers has been applied so next if you go back again to the alignment properties I'm gonna click on edit on the style and then the display so the display is what you see is what you get so now the display is controlled from the display tab within the alignment style uh, window so now in here so now we're talking about three different things here because your alignment will be displayed on the plan view model view and then this section so there is three different things so if you change things on the plan view it is not going to change on the model view automatically so you need to configure it right now remember so what you're looking at here is actually plan view even though it's in model space it is plan view moment you rotate it in your model space within civil 3d then the model space view kick in okay because most cases most of the designers they don't really rotate uh, in the model space just like how we do it in AutoCAD 3d so we don't we're not going to use that feature that's why we have the object viewer within civil 3d so now I can say the lines instead of blue color I want it in cyan and then the curves instead of red color I want it in yellow and spiral say it's green so you can change to different color as well and yeah similarly you can go and change what are the colors you wanted line types weight and everything you can even assign this to a specific layer and then if you change it from a layer and if you set it here in by layer everything changes automatically so now I'm gonna click on OK click on OK and here we go so we got a alignment in the style that we wanted and um, so that's it for today's lesson guys so if you have any specific questions just drop into the comment section I'll try and answer when I can and um, so if you have any suggestions please uh, help us out and uh, if you also have any suggestions on any new topics as well just let us know uh, we already have a big queue that we need to do so we will add it up and then um, uh, we'll take it from there all right thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel and uh, if you have any questions let us know thank you